Yo, what is up YouTube? My name's Aaron and today we are playing on some custom zombies map. Now this is a round 30 flawless from a one room challenge or a one window challenge, although there are plenty of risers, so don't say we just camped at a window because obviously you're watching this, but the strategy does not change. Now, it definitely was not daisies whenever we started this out. We had no idea what to do on this map. Getting the Wonder Waffle is hard to do on this map. And, you know, it's just, it's a fun little map. You can get as many perks as you want. There's Pack-A-Punch, Jug, and stuff. But here's the thing. If you want to open up Pack-A-Punch, if you want to open up Jug, Double Tap, all of those types of perks, it's going to cost you. And what's it's going to cost you is these spawns. As you can see, these hectic ground spawns. Other than that, if you want to survive from box weapons or wall weapons, you can just have one window in front of you. And we've tried that several times. I think we only got a 20. This is definitely our highest round, and this is definitely our highest round without downs. I can tell you from personal experience, I have went down tons of times. I think I've went down more today playing this map than I have in my entire month of playing of December. Honestly, just that entire month of zombies. I've taken more downs on this map than any other map because this map is really hard. Although you're looking at it, you're like, oh man, this looks easy. Just shoot the Wonder Waff at the ground. But trust me, it's not as easy as that. You got to get to the Wonder Waff and you have to pack a bunch of get all your perks and then you can start this up. It is a challenging map and I do love this map design. I would like to see something like this in Black Ops 3 because I love one room or one window challenges or first room challenges. That's something I love doing. It's something you can do fun in zombies. You know, zombies is always about like, oh, let's just try to get the highest round possible. Let's get all the guns. Let's do the Easter egg. But first room challenges brings you down a notch and it's just like, Let's just play in the first room. Let's not care about the rest of the map. Let's not care about anything. Let's just see what we can do in the first room. Now, I do know that this room is overpowered. There's not there's not going to be another zombies map made by Treyarch that is this OP. And that OP meaning just, you know, you can buy insta-kill on the wall. You can get max ammos. You can get double points. You can get, I don't think you can get carpenters. But there definitely is some kind of trap that kills them in a window. And you can get any perk you want as long as you pick it up. There's nothing that limits you to four perks. You can just get them all if you want it. And they've got some pretty good perks. I would like to see um, maybe an electric cherry. They could have added that in. Or double tap 2.0. But this map, I got to give it to the creators. Amazing job. Custom skins on some of the weapons. Black Ops 1 weapons. Um, definitely some world, not, I mean, obviously World of War, but Modern Warfare weapons and some Black Ops 2 weapons. And I like that. I like whenever zombies games stretch it out a little bit, put some new weapons in, but I would like to see maybe one other wonder weapon or at least a flamethrower. If you guys don't know this, the flamethrower is one of my favorite wonder weapons. Yes, it is considered as a wonder weapon. And I wish they would bring it back. And the story to that is I used to play custom zombies back in the day on my laptop that did not have a dedicated GPU and I always got about 20 frames any way I play I could play it windowed I could play it in the lowest quality possible and I would always get about 20 frames and uh, Andrew one of my good buddies that plays World of War with me he actually had a PC he didn't have like a gaming PC but it could handle World at War and what he would do just to mess with me because he knew that I would run low frames all the time he would take the flamethrower out of the box and shoot it at me and it would make me drop down to like one frame and I would always die that would always kill me him just shooting the flamethrower or even throwing grenades guys I didn't start out with a gaming PC I started out with a laptop like most people do and it's definitely been a struggle and I'm so glad that I'm able to use the flamethrower that it's become my favorite World at War wonder weapon and I would say wonder weapon in general but you know it's not the best it's just something fun to use you know especially on a map that I can train never runs out of ammo and if you use it well it can last you forever it never runs out you can always flamethrower the zombies and they will die it actually does do a quite a bit of damage now as you can see from this round right here they spawn incredibly fast on this map, and that's one of the struggles on this map. There is no preparing for you for the next round time. And I think right here is about whenever we die. As you can see, it's getting a little bit more hectic. And I also started a timer to see how long these rounds took. And look right there. It's just, he saved me from the zombie, and that's about what it is. Whoever has the wonder weapon is definitely in control. Like, it's, I think, I just thought of this. 
we might actually try to uh, get two wonder weapons. If you let it sink for six seconds, two, uh, the other person can pick it up. So we're going to try maybe pressing X at the same time and see if we can get the same weapon. And if we can, this map is going to be a lot easier and we'll probably bring you one 100 the next time you see this map. So don't forget about the stream Saturday. We will be streaming over 150 rounds, close to 200, honestly. And it's all going to be custom World at War zombies. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My name's Aaron. Peace.